Thirty. Thirty-one. Thirty-eight. Thirty-eight. Stephen Henry. That's amazing. <laughs> For a second frame running, he's missed the most important red on the table. Sixty-seven points ahead. Sixty-seven points left. Ah, now Jimmy One. is in trouble. He had to get the black with each of the five reds left to him. So that means that Jimmy now wants a snooker. Five. Six. Yes, but how many times have we seen two very important games in the semi-final with Stephen Hendry and Terry Griffiths? That were one with two snookers required. Jimmy's 13. at the table. He's in control of the situation. And if he can get blacks with these remaining reds... 14. You only need one snooker. It's not impossible. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. You can already see the snooker coming up behind that pink. Yes, Ted, I was just going to say that red is very adjacent to the pink. And this is the ideal opportunity. Twenty-nine. I'm certain he's got to play the snooker now. Twenty-nine, Jimmy White. Well, he played the snooker, but to be fair, that's not a good one. That cue ball should have been tied up against the pink. Left him an easy one-cushion escape. That's how easy it was. That was a golden opportunity missed. Better, but you wouldn't expect Stephen to miss this. Playing it with a swerve with right hand side. Thirty-eight points the difference, thirty-five points on the table.
glance back. I'm sure in his own mind he feels that this is a chance for Stephen. It's by no means easy, particularly with the rest. One. Stephen glancing at the scoreboard. And that's what he looks at. Wizardry. Eight. Eight and he won't three. mind that. Jimmy White concedes. They're back to one frame in it. This final over 35 frames, and Jimmy White with a one frame.